I see your smoke rising in the air when you think no one is there. In the still of the night, my child starts to wheeze. Your bright, bright torch, it burns all night. To find my way through the house, I don't even need a light. Activist Hilton Kelly's hometown is on the fence line of eight separate petrochemical facilities, including Shell Mativa. Well, I was born and raised in Port Arthur, Texas, on the west side of town, right next to the refineries. When I was growing up in this community, you always have a sense that, you know, you're not going to go anywhere, you can't achieve anything. I left Port Arthur, Texas with dreams of becoming an actor and a stuntman in Hollywood. I achieved that, and uh, it, was, it was up here a climb, but in 1988, I got that break. During the 20 years Hilton was in California, his Gulf Coast community suffered a steep decline from economic and environmental damage. I decided to come back home to Port Arthur after I had a premonition through a dream to do exactly what I felt needed to be done to help uplift my community. It seemed like I was at a crossroad. And I was just so set back by the dilapidated situation of downtown. And I found that a lot of people were ill. Usually it's cancer related. And there was a large number of kids here with respiratory problems and particularly this West Side community, because this is a fence line community uh, right up against these industries, and they are dumping tons of toxins into the air. I know I live at the back end of town, and I should just be quiet, not make a sound. You might even find this a little profound, but me and my neighbors are light and dark shade of brown. Hilton spent years educating himself about policies governing industrial pollution. He became the leader of the local movement to clean up Port Arthur hydrogen sulfide, nitrogen oxide. How many people know a child with acute asthma? Hilton trained residents to measure and report the air quality in their neighborhood. So it's a great tool. The UV hound is somewhat of a sniffer. I hope our leaders don't conspire to circumvent because these findings I have have a sulfur benzene scent. My toxic reality. My toxic reality. Over the years, there have been a lot of incidents at the Motivo Shell Refinery. We had to go after them through litigation, and uh, we finally got to the table, and we were able to negotiate a good neighbor agreement to ensure that the community is going to be well protected. They saw that there was a need for something to be done in the area which they do business, and we applaud them for that. The hard-fought agreement Hilton forged with Shell Motiva included a multi-million dollar fund for his community. Then there was a three-year fight against an incineration facility. They were petitioning for waste uh, from Mexico, 20,000 tons of PCBs to burn here in the city of Port Arthur. We did not want that toxic stuff released into our environment, so we fought tooth and nail to get it stopped, and we were very victorious in doing so. Information pertaining to some health care. Hilton is a courageous man. Hilton has the respect of the community. They're behind him. When he speaks, uh, they listen. I'm glad we got you at home today, but yet take that to the doctor if you have any issues or if you have some kids in the household. He's been persistent. Anybody? When he gets hold of something, he's not going to let it go until he gets the results that he thinks it should have. Why don't we go hit the commentary? I've always had that kind of fighting spirit, and I saw that there was a need for somebody to take a stand for this community, and we're still fighting today.